Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So in this video we're going to be going through um, the rest of, fall, uh, of the Force of the Fallen Giants and we're going to do something in Majula now that we have the key from uh, Kale. So you just want to run over to this house that is locked over here. Remember Kale did give us um, the house key which is used to unlock this uh, door here. <clears throat> and then we can just run through, see a random huge book, and also pick up the Pharaoh's Lockstone. And then we can come over here and pick up a chest over here. There we go. Titanite shard, three of them, and three torches. So that's actually very useful, uh, especially uh, quite early on in the game. You don't want to purchase any Titanite shards. All right, so then we've got a map here of um, of Dreng Lake, and this fire here is where we defeated the um, the last giant. As we go on, there's gonna be more and more fires that uh, that light up on this map, and we'll come back and probably look at that. But coming down here, you have to be aware there is a skeleton down here. He's not all too tough. Just watch out for his attacks. He does deal bleed on you, so be careful for that. <clears throat> so you just want to back away from him when he attacks and just hit him back. He does he does stagger pretty easily. That's his flash shard. And we've got a chest in here. Soul vessel. And that's basically it for that we have to complete in Majula. So back to the force of the fallen giants. And remember, Malincia did move over here. <clears throat> Alright, so back to the forest. Uh, remember, we did receive the... Cardinal Tower. We did receive the... Um, the soldier key from defeating the last giant. Which, that key does unlock a few... Um, it does unlock a few... Uh, doors in the forest. Oh, and uh, I, I could talk about the soul vessel a little bit more <clears throat> before we continue on. So this is the soul vessel. Show us to a certain person and uh, allows relocation of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of souls. All right, so basically you want to go talk. If you have one of those, you can go talk to the firekeeper. I believe you talk to Sherwin, the one in the middle of the other two uh, firekeepers. The only one that actually talks to you and uh, sh as long as you have a soul vessel you can uh, basically you can reskill your your points <clears throat> I like how they added that into Dark Souls 2 uh, so you don't if you make a mistake somewhere and kinda wanna just reskill real quick without having to restart your entire character you know that's basically what that's for in Dark Souls 1 you basically if you messed up on something um, <clears throat> you basically had to redo everything Alright, so this is one of the doors you can open up with the soldier key. To the left here, we've got a door here, which is the king's door. And you cannot open this door unless you have the king's ring, which <clears throat> you'll get later, later on in the game. So, you don't have to worry all too much about that door. Just remember about it. That's basically what it is. Just remember there's a king's door right there. <clears throat> now we got the ring of restoration. Which we're actually going to use that. So the blue seal is just basically useful for just that little bit part of the game. Uh, the blue seal doesn't give as much HP as the uh, ring of life life ring. So it's better to keep the life ring over the 
blue seal. Then this is another door we can open with the soldier's key. <clears throat> so be aware about coming through here. There are ironclads down here. And there's a undead guy here. So take care of him. And there's going to be two ironclads that run over here. So just beware about that. If they can walk through over here. Let them break these boxes. So that second ironclad right there will not come all the way over here. Black Firebomb and Homeward Bone. Do watch out, there is a uh, guy throwing firebombs over there too. This guy, this second ironclad will walk all the way back <clears throat> if you don't want to deal with him just yet and deal with the firebomb thrower. He will walk all the way back here so you can allow him to do that if you don't want to take both of them on at the same time. Alright, so coming through this next door, we've got a ironclad and an archer. Watch out for the archer. And then we are going to go through this door, but there is an ironclad blocking our way, so we got to take care of this guy before we do anything else. Do watch out um, if you do back up out of this room. That archer is um, out here. Alright. Old ironclad leggings. So we do got a ladder, but we're going to go over here first. Because we've got two enemies oh and we've got an item over here the bastard sword so we're actually gonna use the bastard sword uh, but not yet because we don't have the stats for it I believe you need 20 strength to wield it and you did see a door there but we're not gonna go through that door just yet gonna come up this ladder and there are two more ironclads up here just want to bait them to attack and then you can attack them back alright so usually when he does his swing is when I take my double attack on him uh, because when he does hit the ground it does make you move a bit slower so you see me moving slower there but when he does his regular swing uh, <clears throat> I usually take a double attack. You got a ladder here as well if you just want to climb up here real quick. And do notice that ironclad walking over here. And there's another ironclad walking over here too. So watch out for that. Uh, you actually can. Oh, I missed. Actually can uh, do a falling attack. But if you do a falling attack, do watch out. There is another guy over here. He's uh, standing there to ambush you. <clears throat> and we also got to watch out for the second ironclad that was running over here. There it is. Alright, let's circle back around them. You can also break that wall. You see them broke that wall there. Just bait them to attack. Uh oh. Let's retreat. Take an Estus here. I'm not sure where that archer went. And that iron flat. Alright, so he fell to his death. Alright, take them out. I believe that archer fell off, maybe. I wasn't paying attention to my soul count. <clears throat> Amber herb and green blossom. So this is the other side to uh, that section that I was talking about in the previous video. The iron flag was standing right here. 
you don't have to really break this wall. It just leads to the same area. So coming to the right over here, we've got a chest. The large soul of a proud knight and the hunter hat and the leather armor set. So coming over here, we do got a bonfire here, which we're not going to light that just yet. I want to talk about this room first. So this room does have this giant, a giant rest in peace. Alright, so this is where you can get the, um, the seed of a giant. Uh, it's one of the gifts that you can start off with. I don't really know how it spawns or how long you have to play. Uh, the only time I really come back and check this is is when I'm later on in the game and there is going you see this arm right here there is going to be a uh, like a black seed kind of like thing here you can examine that and you will pick up the seed of the seed of the giant or something like that so I don't know when and how often it spawns but anyways that's where you can get the seed of a giant <clears throat> we've got the bonfire here this bonfire is purposely just to grab that seed of a giant probably that's what I uh kind of see things about this bonfire soldier's rest <clears throat> oh man something's wrong with my throat today all right so then uh there's another boss that we gotta face in the uh in the force of the fallen giants here which is the pursuer Actually, we didn't even need a rest there. We already rested at the other bonfire. But this is the last soldier's, uh, the last locked door that you can use a soldier key on. Alright, so coming over here, where we fought the last giant and where the crystal lizard was. There's the two enemies here. Guard break him. And we could take him out. Just want to take a look at my stats real quick. Uh oh. Where'd that guy come from? <clears throat> Alright, so this is the door that you can unlock. <clears throat> unlock. Watch out, there's going to be another guy that jumps down from the right. <clears throat> oh, apologize for that. Alright, coming on up here now. There's no more enemies, so don't worry about them. We got a fog gate here, which is this is where you're gonna fight um the pursuer. But before that, we're gonna pick up this item up here. Soul of a nameless soldier and a life gem. Alright, so <clears throat> the pursuer is parry you can parry the pursuer, uh, which we're gonna I'm gonna try doing that, showing you guys how to defeat the pursuer quite quickly. There we go, parry him. Take a jog over here and try it. Oh man, we missed. Oh, and he got rid of that, uh. He got rid of that, um. thing. Let's take an Estus. Alright, let's try and, uh. Let's try and parry him again, but not yet. We gotta heal up. We've gotta heal up first. Alright. So this is the attack that you kinda wanna parry. So we're gonna get closer to the ballista. Uh oh. Oh man, he turned around. Alright. So I'm just trying to show you guys how to uh, parry him. Ouch, that was a bit too early. <clears throat> but yeah, that's basically how you gotta do it. There we go. 
run over here and you saw how much damage he took there all right we're just gonna back up do not get grabbed by that that is his grab attack and it will damage you a pretty good amount <clears throat> and it also does put him in like this kind of like stage two uh, kind of like thing so do watch out for that uh, that grab attack if I did hit all three of the ballista arrows um, it would have took a lot more damage out of him and also if you are um, if you are playing with other players <clears throat> you can hit the other players with um, with that ballista so you want to watch out and don't just don't just shoot it like too constantly because you can't hit your partners and your partners will that basically they're gonna die from that uh, if they get hit from that so the strategy without using the ballistas is to just wait for him to attack circle to his uh, to his left and that's basically how you defeat the pursuer Soul the Pursuer and Ring of Blades. So we're actually going to use the Ring of Blades because the Ring of Blades increases physical attack. And we're uh, we're going to be going through this game as a physical attacker. Drain Lake Sword with the Drain Lake Set. Alright, we don't have enough strength for the uh, Drain Lake Shield just yet. <clears throat> but we will in a bit. So that is the three doors you can open with the Soldier's Key. With the soldier key, actually. And if you are having trouble with the pursuer, do summon someone. Um, one person can just um, can just stay on pursuer, and the other person can uh, go on the ballista and try not to hit the person that is that has pursuer on them but we do have another uh, giant here <clears throat> that you can uh, interact with unless nothing happened alright so we will come back to that giant later on in the game but it's like it's like quite a bit like later later very like at the end game of the game but we do have a nest here and you can examine it <clears throat> and once you examine this nest the crow will come down and grab you uh, kind of like it reminded me of Dark Souls 1 that's basically how you kind of uh, left the tutorial area of Dark Souls 1 that crow took you to the next place but anyways this crow will take you to the Lost Bastille which we have not been here yet this is a new area for us And we've got a bonfire here. <clears throat> the whole purpose of coming here is to light this bonfire. You do see a power, uh, a guard guy over there. Just want to come over here. You cannot get up there, but the only way to get up there is to climb right here and jump over. But before you do that, there is an item along this ledge. You can only grab uh, these this radiant life gem and large titanite shard. If you come from this bonfire over here, and before that too, we've got an enemy here. And we've got a few dogs down there. <clears throat> but the, the secret to doing this is to just knock this down, back up, and you will kill all of the, uh, all of the dogs. Because there are other barrels down here. Alright, so then we've got a ladder back there, and we've got a chest over here. So the whole point of me coming over here first is to grab this uh, antiquated key. And you do get the uh, silver serpent ring. So if you do want to get back, you cannot, from this way, you cannot get back to the bonfire now. You do have to use a homeward bone to get back. But this does lead back over here. Over there, which we are not going to explore any further in the Lost Bastille just yet. We're just going to go back to the bonfire. <clears throat> so 
The whole purpose was just come and grab the antiquated key and because we will use the antiquated key oh man Antiqui <laughs> antiquated key later on uh, in the Lost Bastille once we really actually get to the Lost Bastille uh, but first we're gonna go back to Majula and um, level up because I want to use the bastard sword on this playthrough in my first playthrough I ran through basically the entire game with the fire long sword so you can just pick up the fire long sword and stick with that through the rest of the game I really like the fire long sword but this time I kinda wanna try something new Is that a shard? and we found that shard from uh, from the house over there forgot to turn this in this will give us the fifth SS, SS that we have I don't remember Let's check if we have another one alright we don't <coughs> actually the fourth Alright, so we're just going to level up our strength to 20, our dex to 12, and um, let's go with 12, 12, 13. Actually, let's stick with 12. Um, let's actually get... Hmm... Yeah, let's go to 13. That's fine. Alright, so then after that, we can use the Bastard Sword and we can also use the Drain Like Shield. So, the purpose of using the Drain Like Shield is because it does have 100% uh, physical reduction. So, you will not get damaged as long as you're blocking just a pure physical, <clears throat> just a pure physical attack. Uh, we're just gonna drop a few of these items in here. You can go through the game with just purely the Dragon Light Shield good enough to go through just with the drain like shield itself <clears throat> we don't need the blue seal anymore all right So the idea about the weight down there, you can see where it says 66.6 percent .6 in the red bottom left, uh, bottom right hand corner there. Um, if you do have below 70 percent, you do uh, have the fast roll. This is the fast roll, and if you go, <clears throat> if you go over 70 percent, which we are here 75, you do have the fat roll. So try to stay below 70 uh, percent. Alright, we're good. And we got Melincia. Which we could talk to Melincia and we could try to get I'm just gonna reorganize this a little bit. We're gonna use a silver uh, silver serpent ring. Fallen foals yield more souls, so that's what we want. Uh oh, now we're overweight. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Alright. Uh, before we go on, though, we kind of want to rip, do upgrade. Oh, we don't have enough souls. But don't worry, if you do not have enough souls, do remember you are picking up these things here. The uh, soul of a large soul of Proud Knight and stuff like that. So that will give you uh, quite a few souls to use. <clears throat> Alright, so we're good to move on to the next area, which now we're going this way.
run through these steps here. And we got a chest here. Crimson Parma. And some people might have got lost here, but there is a lever right here that opens the door. <clears throat> so don't forget about that lever. That lever does open the door, and we've got a dead body over here. Soul of a lost, undead, and broken thief sword. Coming up here. And we are at Hades Tower of Flame. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I believe we went through 26 minutes or so already. Um, just trying to keep the videos kind of short so that you aren't just sitting there for an hour looking through for stuff. Uh, I will Descriptions of the videos will have more specific things than my past videos. <clears throat> Important items that we picked up and... Uh, NPCs and such like that. So yeah, gonna keep the video short. In the next video, we're gonna go through Hades Tower of Flame, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.